good evening. I'm Hannah Bueller from 7 News and we're taking you through the 716 in two minutes. New York will soon have its third lieutenant governor in six months. Brian Benjamin resigned today just hours after he was arrested in New York City. Benjamin faces federal charges related to alleged campaign finance violations. He's accused of accepting campaign donations in exchange for facilitating a grant to a real estate developer. Local coffee shop workers received words of encouragement from the Attorney General. Letitia James stopped by the Starbucks on Elmwood Avenue in Buffalo. This is one of the first Starbucks in the entire country that has become a union shop. There are now more than a dozen unionized Starbucks in the U.S. Six of them are in western New York. Community leaders marked Donate Life Month by highlighting a need that could save lives. ECMC and Connect Life are working together to promote organ, tissue and blood donation. About 10,000 New Yorkers need a new organ. New York State has the third highest need for donors in the U.S., but the third lowest rate of registered donors. Now let's check in on that forecast with meteorologist Michelle McLeod. Well, it's going to be warm tomorrow with those temperatures in the 70s, but it comes at a price. You're going to see some unsettled weather starting off the morning with some scattered showers. There you go. We'll get a lot of dry time on hand, though. You're seeing it in the afternoon and even getting in on some sunshine, but that daytime heating will cause some of those thunderstorms to pack a punch, primarily heavier downpours and gusty winds. You'll see another round of those rolling through, and then as you head into the overnight, well, we're not done with it just yet. You'll see we start off Thursday with some of those scattered showers as well and the big thing for Thursday is that the temperatures drop off pretty early during the day depending on when that front comes through may happen a little later during the day let's go to the second part of that seven day those temps are on an incremental decrease and look at Easter at least that remains rain free